Okay guys, let's take a look at uh, REST API basics. They provide functionality and interconnection between clients and servers. So let's say that we have a client and on the other side we have a server and actually our REST APIs are being produced and served uh, from the server. Okay, so our client needs to connect to the server this is done by issuing a request. So the client issues a request and sends data to the server. To perform the request, the client needs to provide three things. The first is an endpoint, and it's an address uh, usually of the server and the residing REST API. For example, it might be uh, HTTP, and then uh, let's say example com. And here we have a port, let's say uh, the port uh, 3000 and the address of the provided REST API, for example, create user. Okay, so this is the endpoint that the server should be giving and serving to the client. The second thing the client needs to specify is the method with which it can send the data towards this API URL. And for the method, it can provide get, post, put, delete, patch, and others. So we have now the method and the third final thing is the payload. Payload is usually the data that the client wants to send to the server. In our REST API, which will be create user, for example, we would like to send some data of the user that we would like to create, such as name and email. One way to send data to the server is by using a JSON notation. Uh, so we will be sending a JSON object consisting of this data. Once we have the endpoint, the method and the payload, we can send our requests towards the server and the server can give us back a response. Now let's suppose that the client is sending a request to the server and the server is giving back the response. Let's take a look at the sample request and a response. Inside of the request, we can have a header, and we can have the body of the request. So inside of the body, we can specify a protocol towards which we are choosing to fill the data. For example, if we are choosing to fill the data with a JSON protocol, we can have uh, here the data that we would like to send to the server, such as um, user, and the value for the user will be, uh, for example, user one. Then why we need the header? In the header, we can view additional data. For example, if our server requires authorization before accepting any kind of data, such as we are sending here in the body, in the header, we can uh, send our token, such as uh, JSON web token. It can be in a form of bearer. And here is the value of the token it can be sent to the server together with our uh, body request. And then inside of the server, we'll do a check whether this token is valid that we are submitting uh, to the REST API. And it only if it's valid, will produce a valid response. Now the response can have inside a status code. And this code, for example, if it's 200, this means that the operation completed successfully. And if it's, let's say, 401, this means that the resource is forbidden. And this code helps the client to know whether its request has been fulfilled or not. A particular response from the server also can include not only the status code, but for example, a body, which can be of the same type as the client. And here inside of the body, for example, uh, we can include data to the client, uh, such as a message, 
And uh, this message can be read afterwards from the client in order to decide what to do with the response and whether to display directly the message uh, to the browser or any other client or to transform it before displaying it. And that's basically the communication between the client and the server. The client composes a request with certain header and body inside and uh, this request uh, is treated by the server from the REST API specific URL. Then the server forms a response and send it back to the client in order for the client to know what to do with the response data.